Hello, my name is Daniel Mantillo. I am originally from Colombia, but I have been living in New York for a few years now. Right now, I'm working here at the Clemente Building in New York as part of a residency with Residents Unlimited and Artists Alliance. The work that I'm going to show you is not finished, so it's great because I'm going to talk a little bit about my process and how I develop my ideas. If you notice, I'm working on a couple of paintings, but I would like to focus first on this uh, cutouts here in the corner when I get closer and if you notice I'm just using paper for the most part and also right here I'm using a little bit of canvas from another painting when I'm working on the wall I usually work very quickly and if you notice I'm also cutting paper and I am a little bit rough with it I'm also tearing paper with my hands and I'm just adding marks and I usually um, see these cutouts as a way to start things going on the studio and a lot of other things come out from these things but what I'm showing you right now is more of a sketch now I put them very close to paintings and usually I put a lot of things because accumulation and enclosure are a couple of things that are very important to me when I'm building the paintings if you notice I start uh, with few figures and then they get invaded by their space or these organic shapes and as I work, I begin to imagine the things that uh, they are doing with one another. They're often tricksters. They're collaborators or partners. But for this painting, I was thinking they're doing some things under the table. Sometimes I have a sketch before I begin working on canvas. And often I just start working directly on canvas. And then as I develop ideas and I, the painting progresses, I make notes on paper. Now, if you notice on this painting, which is also in process, I started to build with paint a little bit thicker. And I had a big piece of canvas that I had on the floor. And I started to pour colors on the canvas. I started to um, just, you know, work very quickly, as I mentioned before. And some of these shapes, I found them very interesting for this painting. These are the things that this character on the right is trying to tell this character on my left. It's almost as if the speech became something material, materialized, became something tangible. I would like to move to this wall and I'm working on this painting. I'm using acrylic by the way. This is what I'm working also on, on stretch canvas. And this is another version of the painting that I showed you before on the opposite wall. I'm really emphasizing texture in these works. Sometimes I put several layers, but just using acrylic like watercolor, like washes. Sometimes I build the paint a little bit thicker, like here. Now I'd like to show you a couple of more things. This is another sketch, another cutouts. If you notice the holes, because I'm, I'm using um, push pins and I'm working very quickly and using the brush I'm cutting around the marks that I make or sometimes I'm cutting or tearing first and then making marks around the pieces of paper that I have. Sometimes I use marker and if you notice I'm beginning to draw a little bit more carefully. So these are another uh, pain, two paintings that I'm working on but they're on the table because I'm playing around with these cutouts and I'm trying to see where I could glue them. The same thing with this. I just, you know, move them around. This is something that is either coming from the mouth of this character or is trying to cover. So I just play around with these cutouts. This one, I already glue this part. I often, when I'm not sure about something, I just glue something in the middle of the canvas or in the middle of a shape and then I take it from there and the last thing that I would like to show you are just quick notes that I take while I'm working if you notice this is not precious paper I just want something a surface in which I can work with my pencil and make quick notes and here I started to work with this group of figures and if you notice some of them have uh, shoes some of them don't and their legs start to tangle up and things start to get messy under the table and this is another version of the uh, paintings and the drawing that I have on the walls. 
And this little thing is a, is, a, is a catalog of chairs. I often see chairs that people leave in the street. I take pictures and then I imagine that I take them home and I can refurbish them. So this is a catalog of refurbished uh, chairs, chairs that have seen better days. And these chairs make their way into the paintings, as well as the, as well as the chairs that I find in the spaces where I work, like that chair here in this residency. Okay, that is a rough idea about my process.